welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I tell, I have to adjust my camera because the temperature of my resin is uh, 191 uh, Fahrenheit and uh, 32 degrees. So I have to get a wiggle on. And I used the epoxy uh, from LED resin, a one to one. And I'm just going to get pour it in because it maybe get too hot. I have made this mold myself, both of them. And for now I'm trying to make a bloom with two different kinds of paste. One I have made up myself and the recipe is from a lady Olga, I have to check on her because I'm not sure. Oh shoot, I think I don't have enough, but I will try to get something out. I don't need much. I thought it was enough, but I do don't think I have enough. Hmm, that's not a very good calculation, but I have to try it. All the resin out of my cup. And maybe I have to take some from my molds, but that was not a very good start. All right, um, this is a bigger mold but it's the same centimeters inside, 15 centimeters. And this is also a mold that I made, also 50, 15 centimeters. I think I have to borrow a little bit of both molds because I like to experiment with different kind of paste. Okay. Not the way to do it. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because I need a little bit for my bloom, for my 3D bloom. And I have to scrape my spoon. I'm off camera, sorry for that. I thought I have enough. I have never done it before, but I didn't. So, excuse me, but it's Dansky. Okay. A um, little bit of alcohol on my gloves. Um, I choose not to wear a mask only for my eyes, but please think about your safety um, for your skin and your, um, well, for everything. A little bit is enough. Maybe that's too much. There's not a lot in my cup. This is the Jazz Resin Titanium White. And I'm going to stir it. I want it opaque, but not too opaque. Be sure to wear gloves and if you have a completely face mask for your skin and for the Oh, there goes my arm for the, I don't know how to exactly to pronounce that, but for breathing in all the chemicals. I'm choosing to do a video for you, not wearing my uh, full mask. This is the paste that I made. I will link the lady who has the officially website i'm not sure if i have the right recipe because my scale didn't um i don't know how to pronounce it but when you measure powder you need a special scale because otherwise it doesn't give the uh, right uh, grams or 
So I have to buy myself a new scale with uh, for weigh, weighing my powder. I think that's good. I hope it's enough. Resin. Okay, let's try. So I will give you the link to the website uh, of Olga. She had made the original uh, recipe. And I like to mention her because she does uh, give us uh, the insights how to make your own paste. And uh, the credits are all hers, so not mine, all hers. Uh, and I will show you the link in the description. And this is the bottle of the titanium white. Sorry for my a little bit confusing <coughs> video because I thought I have enough time, but the resin was already hot. This is just resin, pigment paste, oh, sorry, pigment paste, titanium white. All right, that being said, I'm going to continue with, make a little bit room for myself, with the alcohol inks from Octopus. This is the Emerald. I don't know what this is, but oh, I can get it out, hopefully. Is that... Hmm, all right. Yeah, I've got it. That's for the leaves. I'm going to make a 3D bloom. I see something else in there. I have to get it also. It looks like a little bit of gold. Okay. Four leaves. Oops. Four leaves. And also here. This mold is made from uh, gems, and this one is uh, made from crystals. I have a berry juice, I really like to try it. I think it's a beautiful color, also from octopus. And I like to have a lot of bitter juice. Wipe the sides and royal blue. Oh, the bitter juice is beautiful. In the middle, oh, one drop felt on the bitter juice, but there's nothing that I can do about that. Right and silver. I have shaped it already, but it went down again. I have to shake it very well. There is no ball in it. The copper does have a ball in the bottle. And I have to wipe the edge so it's clean. And now I like to have a few drops Not too much of silver. I've never done it before. That's all. I'm not, I don't know what kind of effect I will have, but I'm willing to try. Now I get my silicone stick and make it a little bit with nice figures. A little bit the green. Hopefully it looks like leaves. And I hope the silver doesn't make one big blob of silver, but I hopefully I spread it well.
a little bit in the middle also maybe here a little bit more in the middle and the leaves over here for sorry for my arms is in uh, arm is in a way but because the camera is closer now to my table i have to put the lid on this bottle uh, hopefully this space will work then i have the recipe from again uh, i will show you the video link of the video in the description description and i'm going to start with the titanium white of just resin i'm not used to making blobs like this but i'm willing to give it a go I hope it works. I need a little bit more because otherwise the, the, the flowers will, flower leaves will, will very be, no, sorry, will be very thin. Clearly need some practice with this technique. <laughs> but I'm doing the best that I can. Alright, next layer. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate that you are here with me. Experimenting. And also... Having success, of course, because that's also important. I have done uh, a Dutch pour for you. I just uploaded it. I hope you like it. It's also a little bit uh, a strange day. It seems everything is a little bit uh, off, off perfect. <laughs> But not every day is perfect. I have to put some more here. It's a little bit thin, but it's still 32 degrees. So I was assuming it was thick enough. But when I see this, hmm. Well, let's hope it won't sink too much. I have to make sure. that I don't get any blobs. As you can see, I have already a couple of them. And now maybe some in the middle. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can stretch that a little so it won't be a blob. I hope it will stretch. I hope I, it will make a flower. If not, I will show you anyway. Blobby, blobby. I don't see it spread yet. I also use the Resin Pro for this technique. So let's see what happens. Maybe next time I make a comparison with the Let's Resin and the Resin Pro. Okay, let's go. Olga's uh, recipe. to concentrate maybe 
it's already thickening up but we will see hmm all right just go on and hopefully it gives me the result that I like I've touched the resin now, so I will get some purple blue inked in my paste, but that's okay. I see that the other one is blooming. Thank God for that. Maybe one more over here. And then I'll spread it a little bit. No lumpies, please. It's the first time I ever done it with a a little stick so hopefully that's enough that is spreading also so i think i will continue a little bit make it a little bit wider so that a little bit more to spread maybe my stripes are a little bit thin but we will see it needs something to spread right Okay, that's enough, I think. Hopefully, it's enough. Well, we will see. No, I'm doubting. Maybe a little bit here. And here. to swirl a little bit I'm not doing something in the middle because I think it's colorful and colorful and uh, silvery enough I'm not sure well I, I'm not going to say anything because it's an experiment for me so for now it's the only thing I can do Give it a little torch and I have to wait until tomorrow. Maybe I'm going to do a second coat, I'm not sure yet, but it looks like a little bit uh, all over the place uh, 3D pour, but I did the best I can with a stick. Normally I use a bag. I think a little bit more control with the back is uh, yeah, nice for me. But let's see what this resin will do. Next time I will make a comparison with the LED resin and um, resin pro. LED resin is a great resin, really. I'm very happy that I have two bottles, but I want to see what kind of different kind of effect I can get. So for now, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the colors. Those are the color, Betty, uh, Betty, <laughs> Berry Juice, Royal Blue, Silver, and I have the Emerald. So I hope you like it. 
and uh, see you by the unmolding i think tomorrow maybe the day after because i have to make sure that it's set and maybe i do a second coat if the blooms are spreading if it's not spreading i won't do a second coat i think uh, i hope i have enough on this side maybe i'm going to do a little bit more i see i see a, a white well thing going on over there and this is not spreading okay well it's not a perfect 3d bloom but hopefully it's perfect enough that it will um, bloom if not i will try again so for now i wish you a very nice day i will put you a little bit of a, a close-up so you can see what i see i think you do but i want to show you this one is blooming the way i know a bloom can bloom this i'm not sure but we will see I thought this one was the one from Olga. Well, we will find out together tomorrow. For now, I wish you a very happy day. And thank you for watching. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, welcome terug. Welcome terug. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, it is the next day. Um, I am looking at those two coasters and I think we have a winner so let's demold this one this is the Lex Resin Epoxy Resin Crystal Clear and it is crystal clear that's one uh, I don't know if the silver was uh, a good idea but I tried it so I like to demold it now it doesn't look if it's bloomed and this one uh, was the just resin titanium white so let's find out together right well let's see what we got oh well i think it is one big mess but the coast of shape is beautiful, I think. Crystals on the side and the colors are okay, but uh, no, I don't think that is uh, the, what I wanted. It is blooming, I see over here and here, but it seems to move a lot. I don't know what is going on right here, but this is not what I wanted, but I'm very curious about this one because I see there are, uh, it is bloomed. So I am for now very happy and let's see if that bloom, 3D bloom is a 3D bloom. I'm sorry for my English today. Let's find out. Well, it's still bendy and that's okay i have to leave it for a day let's find out together there we go oh oh wow that is working very very nice you you really can see the layers first second and fourth and the middle is beautiful I think we have a winner uh, but I must tell you really this is all because of solo epoxy art and you can find her video on her uh, YouTube channel and if you want to make uh, your own paste white paste you can find the recipe uh, video 01 so the first video she did on youtube was to make uh, how to make your own paste 
and I don't see anything about safe. So thank you first, sorry, I was distracted because of this. So thank you Olga for sharing your recipe and I will link your video uh, and your channel down below. So thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> I'm very happy with it. I'm going to try another test with uh, the Resin Pro from Art Pro. Use the same white pigment because I have only two and that's enough. I have one more and I know the casting craft uh, works but I have the casting cross over here and I bought it I think a year or three ago and it's going very hard I have tried it put it in hot water but it didn't work so I'm very happy with the recipe of the pigment uh, paste white titanium white for from solo epoxy and yeah well I hope you like it you can make your own paste now if you like to and I think that when I put more layers in it it would even be more beautiful the leaves are really nice and um, it looks a little bit like a rose you really can see the dimension in the flowers so yeah I'm happy with it wow this is really thin as you can see and I put just put a little bit of uh, epoxy in it and it works so I'm happy happy <laughs> uh, yeah the comparison you can see it it is um, the just resin titanium white works with a resin pro art pro um, and you have to leave it for about um, uh, 40 minutes I think uh, this time I have left it for I think uh, if I have it correctly 20 minutes 8 okay, 22 minutes and uh, for a 191 um, Fahrenheit and that's uh, 32 um, Celsius so I hope you I can help you with that um, and yeah it's all about the temperature in your room of course but here in the Netherlands is is uh, it is spring but the temperature are not very high just yet so maybe that helps for making your own blooms so the next test will be with resin pro I will leave it also for about 30 minutes, but that's for another video. I'm really grateful for your support. Thank you for watching my video and I see you at the next video. Bye. Have a nice day or evening. <laughs> Bye.